Switch to politics, the debate coming up on Thursday. What's that going to be like? Is it a reality show? Is it going to be 10 men standing in pro close proximity giving speeches? What's it going to be like? Well, the format only allows for one minute responses and a 30 second rebuttal if we're attacked by name. So uh, probably a lot of us are sitting there hoping that we get attacked by name so we get a little more time. The challenge for the moderators of the debate is to divvy this up fairly, make it even. Uh, you know, I know a lot of times, and I hear commenters and pundits will say this is a reality show, it's, it's, a, uh, you know, it's a clown car, it's a game show. But for those of us who have stuck our necks on the line to run for president, it is a very serious business of believing that our country is in real trouble. And we don't stand on that stage because we're looking for an opportunity to be on TV. Heck, I had my own television show before I left it to come do this. So this isn't about ego. It's not a vanity project. This is because we think this country is in real big trouble. And I would say, I think every other of my Republican colleagues on that stage feels exactly the same way. I'm not going to disparage why they're there. I'm going to assume they're there because the same reason I'm there, to make America a truly great country one more time. You uh, recently went to the AFL-CIO meeting. Um, why would a conservative Republican go talk to, uh, go court labor when they're not likely to vote for you? Well, because I want to be president of all of America, not just the part that agrees with me. One of the things that I did in Arkansas when I was facing a 90 percent uh, opposition that the state had in the political winds of 90 percent Democrats, I had to work with them. I got 48 percent of the African-American vote, not because they originally voted for me, but I went to them the day after the election, not the day before. I worked to become their governor, too, and after a while it worked. Here's what a lot of people don't know. 35 to 40 percent of the members of labor are actually Republican. And I fight hard for working men and women, whether they're in a union or not. But when we've lost 5 million manufacturing jobs and 60,000 manufacturing plants have closed just since the year 2000, somebody better be attentive to the fact that whether a person is a union member or not, a lot of Americans are working really, really hard these days for a whole lot less money than they made a few years ago. So I was glad to go. I was the only Republican that, that accepted their invitation. Maybe they vote for me, maybe they don't. But if I can get some of their votes, because some of those union members are pro-life, some of those union members you know, are church-going, gun-owning people that really are philosophically more Republican, except for maybe the political leanings of their union. All right, Governor Mike Huckabee. Thanks so much for being with us. We look forward to talking to you after that debate. Thank you, John.